What is up, everybody? It has been a while. It's been a while since I've made a YouTube video. And uh, I thought it was time to reconnect. Um, at 715 Outdoors, we had been focusing, obviously, on deer hunting. Um, I don't know if I even uploaded any of my gun hunting footage because, just to be honest, the deer season ended badly. After the rut, everything just kind of went downhill. I was really frustrated. And um, I didn't even do any late season hunting. So I've been kind of kicking around what kind of content I want to make to take us through the winter. And I decided, of course, being in central Wisconsin, ice fishing is the logical conclusion here. So what I want to do is show you what I consider the essential, the must have for every ice angler out there. And I'm gonna show you what it is right now. All right guys, so what we have here, this is a uh, Plano Grab and Go. Uh, it's about 22 inches on the inside and this is available uh, at Fleet Farm for about $15.99. So great price. Let me give you a, let me show you how I've modded it out and made it probably the most useful thing in my ice fishing arsenal right now. First of all, the box is right on the top here. Let's just pull these right off. Show you what we got. These lock into place, which is just fantastic. So in these little tackle boxes, I have jigs, bobbers, uh, spare hooks, leaders, and what I did is I took some foam packing material and put them inside so that I can connect my hooks to them and keep everything nicely organized by size and weight and things like that. So this is always very nearby when I'm jigging. So put the boxes back on, listen to those clip into place. They've never fallen out. And we'll open it up, take a look inside. All right, inside on the top tray here, I've got batteries. Those are for the aerator, um, for my minnow bucket. I've got hand and toe warmers. I've got pliers. I've got jaw openers for the pike. I've got bells for my tip-ups outside the tent. I've got snaps and uh, split shots. I've got scissors. I've got uh, bolt cutters in case we happen to snag a muskie. Um, uh, got my depth finder weight here, a couple of those. Spare line, my sunglasses, underneath the sunglasses, spring bobbers, um, Evan sunglasses, some uh, knots for the slip bobbers. These are lights for inside the uh, fish shack. And these are USB lights with a carabiner clip that go right around the poles inside my tent. And I have some rod and reel tape here, a razor knife, and slip bobbers. So everything I need is here to help set up what's underneath. And that is all of my tip-up material. Um, I have in this box four Beaver Dam tip-ups. I love Beaver Dam because no matter how cold it is, um, they just don't freeze up. So here's what's so great about this box, guys. Um, it always comes with me. It just makes setting up and picking up really easy to have everything in one convenient, easy place. And I have my tip up set up here. You see, I have like a little blue marshmallow there on my treble hook so it doesn't snag when I'm pulling it out of there. And I have my, um, I have this little mini bobber that is used as like my depth marker already attached to the leader. So it's ready to go. These things, they're just ready to go all the time. And also, what goes in here, now I could fit, 
I suspect, six tip-ups in here max. Okay? And then I have these, these things like hang on the side of a bucket. Now this isn't a bucket, so it doesn't fit. But they fit a bucket perfectly. And I don't know where, if these are available online, I haven't looked. But this is called a finicky fooler. And basically, uh, you string your line through here, put the flag on one side, your line on the other, and when you get light bites, it detects very, very light bites. I got three of those. And these all fit in here real nicely as well. So first thing I typically do, I drill my holes, set up the tent, and get uh, get these set up, dead sticking. Um, and then we go set our tip-ups. And everything is done right out of this box. And it fits nicely in my sled, which I never drive on the ice, so I'm always pulling it. So weight is a factor. So I want to be lightweight, mobile, and ready to go. So that is why I cannot recommend strongly enough this Plano Grab and Go box. Again, this is about 22 and a half inches. Should fit most of your tip ups out there on the market. And I think you'll find it to be useful for a lot more than that. So thanks for watching. If you like our content, please subscribe, share, and we'll see you on the next video, which hopefully is coming very soon.